city lay in desolation and he was deeply grieved. Okay? Despite the challenges, the detractors, and the opposition without and within his own camp, because a lot of times when you're on a mission, it's not only the outside that's going to give you problems, it's those that are close up under you and on the inside that are going to rise up and oppose you. So you've got to be rooted and grounded in the fact that, yes, this is my mission, and I'm going to stay on task. No matter if you do cut up, my children might cut up, my husband might cut up, father mother might cut up, brothers and sisters are going to cut up. Amen. But as long as I know you call, and you set this task before me, I must stay on task. Amen. So Jesus was a man on the mission, both man and divine. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, um... Nehemiah stayed on task by acknowledging that his assignment was by divine order. He realized that this was an awesome task and it would take divine unction, divine power and authority, provision and, and, and protection. Because this task was so big, Jerusalem had lay in ruin for many, many years. There was still some remnant living there, but they were being pillaged by other people, the Assyrians and all that. So the, the, the walls were being just desecrated. The city itself, the temple ravaged. Amen? And he knew that he would challenge norms and shift paradigms of that day, which would endanger his life. Amen? Yet he continued. He knew that by the enabling of God, the mission would be accomplished and the people of God would be restored revived and reformed, so he continued. He realized, number one, that this mission was bigger than he was, okay? And number two, that his God was greater than the mission. That's Amen? Right. And greater than the opposition. Hallelujah. Come on Amen. now. Amen. Come on, let's give God some praise on that. That's Amen. what we got to realize. If it's something that's challenging us, we got to understand that our God is bigger than any situation and any circumstance. That's, that's right. right. That's right. And that way we operate by faith and we increase our faith and this muscle of faith is exercised, and when you exercise the muscle, how many of you know it gets bigger? Yes. Amen? Amen. Opposition came from without and within, but Nehemiah was aware that this mission was not about him, that it was greater than him, and that it must be completed, and so he continued on. Despite the taunts of Sambalit, how many of you remember that it was Sambalit, Geshem, and Tobiah? and a few more oppositional people that taunted Nehemiah. They continually called him down from the wall and tried to distract him. They wanted to get him off his mission. His mission was to stay on the wall. And they wanted to call him down for a conference. They wanted to call him down and chat with him. They wanted to meet with him in, in the temple and all that. And, 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 and behind his back, they planned to kill him. But God, in his infinite wisdom, stayed in Nehemiah's ear because Nehemiah did what? He fasted and prayed. And he also laid his enemies before the Father. Mm. Amen? Amen? That sounds a lot like Jesus, doesn't it? Doesn't it sound, now, I'm not saying he's a forerunner of Jesus so much, but he's a model. Amen. Amen? Amen. Every time we see people that had a divine mission in the Old Testament, they were forerunners and models for Jesus Christ. Now, I might get kicked out from somebody if I say that, but that's what I'm going to say. We can look to the men and women of God, their faith, that have them stay on task, and each task that they uh, 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 achieved made way for the next step in history, biblically, for the next event to happen. Rahab, when you look at Rahab, a whore and a harlot, yet she is an ancestor of Jesus Christ. That shows you God and use anybody he wants to. And a lot of people won't expose that hey, no. he came down from a sinner like this. No, they won't. He came from a harlot like Rahab. But yet he was divine and yet man. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. He stayed on the wall and worked steadfastly before his enemies. And a lot of times that's what we have to do. And that's what Jesus was doing. He stayed on task and he was steadfast despite the opposition that his enemies, the detractors, and even those that worked up close to him, you know the story of Judas. Judas walked with him every day, saw the miracles, saw those signs and wonders, but yet he betrayed him because he was the son of perdition and it was 
divinely ordered that he would be the betrayer. Just to give us an example of, hey, when people betray you, you keep on going. Come on you keep now. on going. Yes. Because sometimes opposition is allowed to, to just keep us skillfully moving forward. Amen? Amen. To keep Amen. us on task and to strengthen us. A lot of times we think when things happen to us that are hard and, and disappointing that we should be just give up. But boy, I tell you, I've learned today that when you oppose me, that should make me dig my heels in and I'm ready. That's right. I'm ready. That's right. I know I got That's to right, stick my heels That's in. That's right, Pastor. Even though you might say I'm confrontational and argumentative, I'm going to stand my Come on, woman of God. Because I didn't come this far. By man, I came this far by faith. By faith, that's right. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord. Come on, Lord. Hey. Hey, glory. He did not come down from the teach, wall. Brother, God. Teach. He gave orders to the naysayers. He did not give time to their requests. He did not abandon his mission. He stayed the course. For the assignment held a much greater end. The restoration of God's people. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In my previous 25 points on the book of Nehemiah, I neglected to move forward to the mission of Jesus Christ. Because I'm <laughs> yeah, such a work presentation. It. His mission was to go to the cross for you and for me. Come on now. Yes, it is. It's very personal what you better praise to Jesus. That mission was personal for the me. The preaching of Jesus. Two Lord have mercy. Years ago. He did something for my Zell. Amen. Never you see you and I would be home. Hey, go. Oh, come, come on now. And feeling so bad and cast down. Yet still. He stayed on task. Use the Lord. His mission was to go to the cross, hang there, and stay there for our salvation. Because you know he could have called down legions of angels to come off that cross. That's right. That's, that's, that's the Bible. There. He didn't have to stay up there. That's the Bible. His was truly a divine assignment, a divine mission, with divine instruction to shed his blood, withstand the taunts, betrayal, and the detractors. His divine objective was reconciliation to the Father and salvation for me and for you. Mm. Lord have mercy. All that has stood the test of time. To where each person is born, they have a covering. Come on now. That this blood continues to flow, amen. Mm -hmm. That this blood continues to wash. <laughs> oh my God. He didn't just pour on that day and he died and was buried and was resurrected and went on. He left a fountain of blood that kept flowing. Mm -hmm. amen. And each day I could wash myself under the blood. Yeah. I can have my covering, amen. Mm -hmm. And I can feel myself rejuvenated when I feel cast down because of the blood. Go ahead. Blood the blood. Amen. Oh, glory, the blood. The Ooh, blood. That mission brought that blood out, amen. amen. Can nothing negative understand or stand and stand against the blood of Jesus? Amen. So remember to always cover yourself in the blood. Just say it down in your spirit. I'm covered in the blood. Yes, I'm covered man. in the blood. I'm covered in the blood. In the because of a divine mission, his blood was shed. And it has not lost his power. Amen. Yeah, right. Woo, and it yeah. never will. Glory <laughs> to God. It still works. Amen. His was truly a divine assignment, a, a divine mission with divine instruction to shed his blood and withstand those taunts. And he did it. They said he didn't say anything. He stood before Pontius Pilate and they questioned him on something. He said, oh, so you say it. That's all he said. Mm -hmm. So you say it. He didn't argue with him. He knew his mission was bigger than he was. Amen. And he knew a God that was bigger than the mission. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 